Ted Ellis's painting of President Obama attracts much attention these days. Whether at the art festival in New Orleans or at Martin Luther King Jr. School, the image is a favorite. Ted enjoys people, and especially the children. He sees them as the future of America. The Obama piece, with all its symbolism, gives Ted the teaching opportunity to motivate the children towards their dreams and plans for life. Now we join Ted in the classroom talking about the Obama painting and its meaning. Interesting that they want me to talk about? Yes. This piece right here? Okay, this is, do anybody know who this is? <laughs> right. That's our 44th president, Barack Obama. And um, I said and I thought about, you know, you know how I was going to actually um, capture, you know, the essence of the man and the essence of America. And um, I wanted the piece to be very majestic. I wanted it to, to, to look noble. But I also wanted to have the, um, have the inclusion of who we are as Americans, the different diversity, the ethnicities, the, um, the different creeds, the different origins but we're united. That's why we call it the United States of America. And um, I wind up doing a piece. I've gotten a tremendous amount of response from it. I had the opportunity to take it up to Washington, D.C. and unveil it at the French Embassy the um, day before the inauguration. And, it, and, and Mr. Barack Obama, the president, gets to travel with me, or I get to travel with the president. So, um, you know, I, uh, that's one of the other perks about doing what you do, having purpose, you know, the... Um, the ability to instill hope, um, to, to be that champion that we can all be heroes, um, that's so important. You know, that message when he, when he talks about, yes, we can, it's so important. Yes, we can. If we put our minds to it, it's nothing that we can accomplish. We've got to be very specific about it, we've got to be very passionate about it, and we've got to be goal-oriented. You know, I feel good when somebody says, Mr. Ellis, you know, I remember your justice piece that you had with the African-American male in the courtroom. That got me through law school. I used to look at that piece and say, I'm going to become a lawyer. It's like, wow. My art made that kind of impact on you? You know, hopefully my Obama piece will make that kind of impact on people. The essence of the man, the essence of America, the United States of America, what the colors represent, all the different races, all the different ethnic groups. We are as one with the hope and promise that tomorrow will be a better day. Community. And that's what it's going to take. This is why it leads up to um, Barack Obama and everything that he's about. You know, the essence of the man, the essence of America. Uh, everybody gets an opportunity in America to do what they want to do if they apply themselves. And so here you have a man, 40, the 44th president of the United States, who's the first African American. Um, I just, I enjoyed doing this piece. I had did several other pieces prior to it, but I really wanted to reflect who is this man, the essence of the man, and the essence of America, and the United States of America? And so, you know, I thought about it long and hard, and without making it a busy piece to show the majesty of, 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 of this educated, uh, supremely educated individual, and what America, the greatness of America is about, the different races, the different ethnic groups, and I thought about using color and to collectively combine that, and that, that symbolically illustrates what America is and who America is and, and the essence and what Barack Obama is and his intent to, um, to keep America united, to know that with all of the indifferences, there's a greatness in that and we need to recognize that. But the underlying thing, what has gotten him to that position, what his, his will, his, 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 his tenacity, his perseverance, and the belief in education, that has, that has been this foundation. I mean, for him to get where he's at. And that's what it's gonna take for us to get where we're at, is to continue to get a quality education. And being educated is, 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 a, is a life, it's, it's, it's a lifetime endeavor. It just doesn't end in the classroom. Um, we educate ourselves constantly in different environments, like right now, you know? Um, and work, discipline yourself, you know, and don't give up. I mean, don't, don't quit, you know, do not quit. Do not dig, get discouraged or distracted easily. You know, make it happen. And I don't care what anybody tell you. If it's something that you want to do and they don't like it or they want to hate on it, that's them. Follow your dream. Follow your passion. Believe in yourself.